Medication example one. For the sore throat, gargle and mouth solution and the above box, this box being um, the medicine I found in my cabinet. Calculate the dosage rate for this medicine in grams per milliliters. Okay, now when I work these things out, the best method for me personally is the method I learned from Stuart Palmer, which can be applied to lots of different situations. And it's called the four boxes, three numbers, and two arrows technique. Okay, so we've got our four boxes, and now we're going to put in our three numbers. Now we learned that inside of 15 milliliters, now this is going to, I'm going to put this on the right side, inside of 15 milliliters, I'm going to write milliliters above to show that this column represents milliliters. Inside of that, there is 22.5 milligrams of the drug. Okay, so these two line up because they have a relationship between them. We're trying to convert this into grams per milliliter. And I want to point out, whenever you see this, that actually means grams per one milliliter. Just like when you see kilometers per hour, that means kilometers per one hour. Whatever it comes second actually means it's just the number one. Okay, so we want to convert our 15 milliliters into one milliliters, into one milliliter. Now, we have four boxes and we have three numbers. Now we're going to have two arrows. And we're going to have the arrows coming down. You could have the arrows coming up, down, or even across. Doesn't matter. Okay. Once you've done that, you're then going to think, okay, if I want to go from the number 15 down to 1, I must multiply or divide by something. Usually divide. And if you divide by itself, 15 divide 15 will equal 1. And whatever you do to one side must be done to the other. So what is 22.5 divide 15? It's 1.5. That works out quite nicely, 1.5. Now, what that tells us, this is in milligrams. So that tells us that there are 1.5 milligrams per 1 milliliter of the liquid, right? Which essentially is the same as saying 1.5 milligrams per milliliter. So we're almost done, not quite, because it asked it for grams and milliliters. We've given a solution of milligrams per milliliters. It's not too difficult to do because um, if I've got 1.5 milligrams, if I divide this by a thousand, I will get 0 0.0015 grams. I can convert it to grams like so. And now we can get our final solution, which is that 1.5 milligrams is the same as 0 0.0015 grams per milliliter.